Diaries. I just wanted to tell you why I've kind of been AWOL these last few weeks. Basically, um, I was really busy during the Christmas time. I wanted to post a lot more videos, but I just didn't get around to it. I know a lot of you probably were spending a lot of time with your families, friends, so was I. And then just recently, as of like last week, I wanted to start posting videos, but my YouTube account, I couldn't get, like I could not have access to it. I don't know what happened, so my password wasn't working, and I know my password, so I was kind of nervous. I thought I might have to start all over. Thankfully though, I was able to work through the security procedures and get everything back to normal, so I'm back on. I wanna say I miss you guys. Thank you for those of you that have been subscribing. So anyways, today is Makeup Monday, and I, w I bought this magazine, the Seventeen magazine, the newest issue, and I kind of got inspired by this look that the America's Next Top Model winner, Nicole, is doing. It's kind of hard to see it. It's kind of like a, a black eyeliner, simple look with a little bit of brown and orange undertones for the eyeshadow and a peachy gloss. So if you're interested in watching my take on that look, then continue to watch this tutorial. It's very easy and just using a few products that I'll be showing you throughout the video. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it and um, keep watching. Okay, so the next thing we're going to use, I just bought this. Um, Victoria's Secret Silky Shadow Palette Soft Shimmering Eyes and it's really cute. I think it's like $12 at Victoria's Secret and we're going to take the really pretty um, champagne beige color and apply that all over as a base, okay? Now that you have that all over your lid, we are going to start by taking, or continue by taking the brown, and basically that's just going to go on the lid right here, right underneath the crease. We're going to take the same sponge, excuse me, sponge brush, and just apply it in the brown, and just put it. Okay guys, so now that I have the champagne base and then the brown on the lid, we are going to take the orange from the kit and just apply it right in the crease. So it's this color right here, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that, and this is a different brush, it's just like a crease brush, I got it in Target, and just apply it right into the crease. And just blend it. So now you should have the brown lid, the champagne base, and then the orange in the crease, okay? It's a really light and subtle kind of look, but it's really pretty. Now you're going to take <clears throat> a liquid eyeliner. I prefer to use Rimmel Professional Liquid Eyeliner. There we go. It's kind of old. I've had it for a long time, but it's good. So this one's Rimmel. And you're just kind of outlining the lash line on the top. And um, go up. I'll show you how to go. This one's a really thin um, tip, but I like it because it's very uh, precise. So this is kind of hard to do if you're just starting to learn how to use a liquid pen or, you know, liquid eyeliner. You might want to start off first by purchasing maybe um, a felt tip and then working your way up to um, this precision brush. But as long as you have a steady hand, usually you can make it come out really good. Okay. Now, 
now to finalize that black look on the eyes, um, I'm going to take Marina Eyeshadow, and this is by um, Bare Minerals. It's a really dark black mineral eyeshadow. And I'm just taking a thin, see a thin um, eyeshadow brush and just kind of dipping it in there, tapping it a little bit. I'm just gonna go back in this line and deepen out the black color. As you can see, some of the eyeshadow has gotten onto my right in there, but that's okay. I can clean that up, not a problem. All right, guys. So you have your black eyeliner and you have the eyeshadow. So now we're going to do the eye mascara. I'm going to be using a mixture of um, Maybelline Colossal Volume Express mascara and then just to make it a little more natural, I'm going to add Dior's Dior Show mascara, okay? So you just put a few coats of that on your eye. And then to soften up that dramatic look, we're gonna put a little bit of the Dior Show Mascara. All right guys, so the eye look is finished. Now on to the lips. I'm going to do a combination of these two. This is Victoria's Secret's Very Sexy Lip Stain in Nubile, or Nubile, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Just apply that. I think these lip stain stains are really interesting because, you know, they stand your lips for a really long time. And like when you put them on, it's like really wet feeling. It's kind of interesting. I don't know. That's there. And then, to go on top of that, I'm going to be using Max Pink Lemonade Lip Gloss. Alright guys, so to finish off this look, you can apply like a pink or peachy blush. I used a nice, just simple pink blush. Um, and you just apply that to your cheeks and smooth it out as much as you want. You know, if you want a more dramatic look with your blush, then you may put a little bit more on. So, um, this is the final look. Um, I hope you liked the video. I think it's really easy to do. Um, if you don't have this palette, just find, you know, a really, they're really easy colors to find. It's just, um, like a beige champagne color, a nice orange, a, like a muted brown, and then the green, we didn't use the green for this video, but if you wanted to use a green, well, um, you can get it. Or you can just try to see if you can find this at Victoria's Secret. I know that they started selling them in like the end of November, beginning of December, so I'm not sure if they still have these, but you can always go check. Um, let's see, what else do I have to say? I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, today was another Makeup Monday, and I'll be putting up hopefully another one next Monday. So thank you for watching again, and thank you to all my subscribers. I really appreciate you watching my videos. Bye!